huge unboxing. Comic fam, stay tuned because these are your comics. We got a bunch of giveaways. Shout out to Torpedo Comics. They did something really special, didn't they, Russ? They really, really did. And Tom and I mentioned this, that when Detective Comics 1027 came out, that they were doing a special box set of a bunch of different variant covers. And it's awesome that we have some to be able to give away to the comic fam. I told my homies over there, whatever you send me, I'm giving to the community. Right. So, you know, make it good because I want to send out some fire. And all <laughs> they do at Torpedo Comics is they make fire. They teamed up with over nine artists to produce 27 different covers. And I'm being told that there could be a secret cover that wasn't even announced that's inside. Well, we're going to find out in a minute, Tom. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. We make a lot of comic book themed content. And we're going to dig into these boxes and see what they sent. Because these are going to be giveaways we're going to be doing, not just in this video, but in future videos on the channel. All right, so take this one. Let's do the two small ones first. Okay. All right. So well, we have two small boxes here. First off, these boxes are amazing. They are. They're absolutely astounding. They are shiny. I'm getting a little blinded here. Detective but... 27. A thousand appearances of the Dark Knight. That's yeah, really, really cool. I mean, heck, dude, this is this is some next level boxage right. happening right here. It's good. All right, so let's, let's actually peek inside what's in the box. And I got to make sure I'm opening the right one. Sure. Oh, my goodness. And we, we did cut them open. But this is the first time we're peeking inside. Yes, we have not looked inside these yet. Yeah, these were sealed for freshness, but I also, you know, I'm assuming sealed for the randomness. Mm, we also have new comic smell. Torpedo paper on top. Ooh. Oh my goodness. The yeah. wrapping paper, a little bit of bubble wrap. What did we get? Holy smokes. Okay, so Detective 1027 apparently is a very thick book. Oh yeah. I didn't realize this. How oh, yeah. thick was this thing? Because uh, this is I'm, this is like trades. Uh, 112, 116 pages, something like that, 120. I mean, it was definitely a larger amount. We had an issue at the shop that these books came in, Detective 1027, and John looks at me, he's like, we're going to need more thicks. And it kind of felt like Jaws, like, we're going to need a bigger boat because they did such a fantastic job. $10 issue. It's a $9.99 issue, but worth every penny because there were so many great pages of story in this dude okay so i think i'm looking at the sketch bundle they did a whole box where you can get all the sketch versions and i'm assuming you're probably getting the color version so let's yes. take a look at what's inside all right so we are holding on to nine different covers in this box. And when you have three different versions of them, that adds up to 27 different covers in total. Oh, my gosh. I am looking at the Frank Cho one on the cover right here. We got little Batman. Me, too. I'm looking at the Frank Cho sketch version as well. Very cool. This dude draws a really, really good Dark Knight. Next up, I have an art Adams and Art Adams again the amount of detail he has in his and it is a wraparound cover he's got the front and the back with the rogues gallery you've got oh my gosh and Catwoman kind of looking on she's not part of the rogues gallery but she kind of is anyway that's right a awesome wraparound cover they got some big artists man Arthur Adams I'm looking at my favorite of the lot we're talking about the Bill Sinkavich cover. This thing is gorgeous, and oh, you yeah. brought the heat, man. It's that stylized, like, just, I don't know. It's almost off-puttingly out there because of that scarecrow just jumping out at the viewer with his hand. Oh, yeah, and, and this beautiful, like, you know, blood-red sunset hue on the cover. It's really just astounding in black and white and in color. Okay, this next one here, Mark Brooks, of course, bringing the heat. This Harley cover is a classic, but it's not just Harley. You have the sirens there. You have Catwoman and Poison Ivy standing behind Batman. Oh, these are so beautiful. I mean, again, just to be able to see a cover like this is amazing. And, and the fact that Torpedo got such amazing artists to be able to do these. Mark Brooks did a great job. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we've got this Ben Oliver one right here. Just the Joker looking so creepy. Dude, making Jock proud oh, with yeah. that grin, dude. You know, I'm getting that, like, 880 vibe on this cover. Mm. But, oh, my gosh, with Batman there, it just makes it that much cooler. With the bats just flying in the corner. 
I'm oh, digging yeah. that negative space. So next up, I've got this Lee Bermejo one who did an, a, an incredible job on Batman Damned, but just the shading and the coloring. And when I look over at Tom's, they've got this kind of added frame for yeah. the sketch variant. They look noticed. so they, different even. I mean, yeah. compare the two. Yeah, the, the trade dress over there, but this like limited trade dress mm-hmm. has a frame around it and it's classy. It makes this kind of a, a set. I, I like that they were able to tie them all together right. by keeping the consistency among the issues the same. Definitely display worthy. I mean, this is wow, the type of thing that. that people are going to be able to display That's on the really counter. Cool. They look great together. Oh, uh, absolutely. Okay, so really, the Terry and Rachel Dodson cover, this was the one of all of them that I was just like, I got to get this one for myself. It was easily my favorite. It kind of got this like Mike Allred ink style to it. Yep. And it's so slick. And with that Joker grin in the background on the screen. Right. I mean, it kind of has this Blade Runner feel to it where, you know, you're running through a futuristic society and you've got, you know, staring down at you from the Times Square movie screen. You know, just so cool. Ah, Good job, Dodson's. That was that was great. All right. Down to the final two. Look at the Simone Bianchi cover. This one is a great one, and this is just very, very reminiscent of the Batman Arkham video games that we've been playing. It's just got this dark feel. It's just great shading, but still so much incredible detail in this. What I like about this one is you can tell that this is definitely early stage work for the sketch cover. Oh my gosh, that's really, really cool. I mean, the amount of shading and color that goes into this one, but yeah, that, I mean, you You're see- seeing like pencils here. Just the pencils and, and the blacks and grays. I mean, it's really, really cool. A very different wash from the final one. All right, and then we have the Tony S. Daniel variant presented by Torpedo Comics with Nightwing Batman. We have Batgirl at the center with just the rogues gallery behind him. I'm seeing Riddler. I'm seeing Joker. I'm seeing Two-Face. I'm seeing pretty much everybody worth drawing in the back left. That's Batman who laughs hiding in the corner. Oh, yeah. And if you guys are paying attention to uh, James Tinian's Joker War series, um, they're about to blow some stuff up. And uh, some things are going to happen to Batgirl. Some things are going to happen to Nightwing. So this may be the last time we see them together on a cover because really they are blowing some crazy stuff up over in the DCU. All right. So we're opening up the final box. Now, this one is the special one. This one gets the like the uh, torpedo coin. That's awesome. This right here is my little token that I get to keep because this is a little memento. Mm -hmm. You know, like they used to do this with. You know, other trading card sets and stuff like you get this little memento for getting the set. Star Wars Power of the Force back in 1985 had those in the action figures and the coins are super valuable right now. So it's great to have an awesome collectible piece that Torpedo put out. Oh, and it's hefty, too. I mean, this is really, really nice. And it has the names of all of the cover artists on here. So this is an awesome memento. All right. And then we have a print, which is a. Oh, kind of cool. This is like a, a puzzle oh, stylized cool. of all the covers, a collage of all the covers with the nice that's really little, like, awesome. You know, yeah, puzzle format on. Don't there. cut that with a jigsaw and <laughs> no, 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 keep it together. Oh, very cool. <laughs> so then, what I'm expecting here is these are probably the virgins of said issues. Comic fam, this was really cool. I'm excited to show all of these covers together all at once because. There just truly is a a lot of opportunity when it comes to comic book stores getting involved in the variant game and into, you know, the production of comics. Sometimes it's these retailer incentives that really pushes the unit counts of some of these comics to where they need to be to keep going. And it's cool to see, you know, companies like Torpedo teaming up with such a huge slate of artists, giving them a lot of work but also making so many comics. Look at how much print is in front of us, Russ. Well, there's a lot of print here, but we also have to keep in mind that it's not just the big few that are making these comic books. There are a ton of smaller comic book presses And there are a ton of artists that are not able to do shows right now. They can't go out. They can't do conventions. And if you're able to do any type of exclusive, you're going to do it for the fam. You're going to do it for the collectors. But these artists and some of these smaller publishers actually really rely on you working hand in hand with them. It's a fantastic symbiotic thing for shops right now. I'm loving the Variant Comics Torpedo. Shout out to all our homies over there. We got Steve. Shout out John D. And we also have the secret variant that they didn't let us know about, but it was in here. 
And it is that poster as a comic. It's all of the wow. different covers all Online on one. Covers. That is really, really great. And again, the only way you could have bought this is if you pre-ordered this box from Torpedo. It sold out. And you know what? Some lucky person in the comic book fam is going to get this as a giveaway. We're not keeping any of these books. They are all going out to the comic book fam. All right. So what we're going to do today, I want to pick out the like one of these comic books and i want to do a set we're going to do the black and white the trade dress and the virgin because i want to keep these together sure in the event that the comic fans wants to collect them together or sell them you do what you want this right. is all karma for your comic fam heck if you want to sell them put them towards something you do want and you know what i was most excited about that terry dotson we're going to wait for that one sure but the bill s cover like i just i had to see this in person now that i have my wish was made and it was granted. Now they're in front of me. And it could be yours, comic fan. We're going to send out the trade, the black and white version, and the virgin copy to one lucky member who comments down below. Hit the like button and the subscribe button while you're down there. Let me know what were your favorite covers from this batch. And as always, geek responsibly. Enough said. Comic fam, only a couple weeks left to join the November mystery mail call and get your Power Rangers 55 Raph Grissetti mystery mail call exclusive. Link in the description or hit comic 101com